Uh, welcome to this channel, IBMI Classes. Um, this video session will talk about include CL source from stream file. Uh, in my previous video, I uh, I talked about the include CL source from the specified source physical file source member. So now uh, I'll be focusing on the IFS. So in this video that is we will be including the source which is present in the form of stream file at the IFS location so before going into that demo I just want to have few points before you all uh, regarding the include CL commands that this command can be run in interactive and batch mode and it includes the CL source from some source member present in the source physical file or from the stream file directly from the stream file so what it will do it will include the source text external source text into the compiled program which is going to be compiled or what it will do it will uh, um, that, that external source text must have the valid CL command sure otherwise you will get the compilation error and this and that source external source text must contains the declare commands control flow statements or regular CL commands so either declare as a control or CL commands must be there now in the so external source text that you are including in your CL program either from anywhere uh, from source member present in source physical file or from the stream file now we, I added these three commands which is going to be very useful for you so work with object links so you want to access to ifs objects you will be using work link command uh, for creating a directory you will be using create dir for creating empty text file in ifs you will be using edtf so now let's go to demo so earlier i was including the source sorry for the noise so earlier I was uh, including this source in CLPGM file from this source member present in this source file sure now I don't want to use from here so I just created CLPGM6 where there is no include statement at all right now now what I'll do first I will create first I'll go to IFS using work links and I'll create a directory this totally depends upon me whether I want to create a file here or in my own directory so I'll be creating directory using create dir slash home slash ibmi class slash directory name would be demo now the directory created take f5 this directory created take 5 here now I need to create a file edtf using edtf command take f4 slash home I need to give the fully full path fully qualified path slash home slash ibmi class f5 take f5 slash home slash ibmi class slash demo now I need to give the file name suppose I'm giving the file name as file 1 this file is created take f3 save and exit press f5 you'll see this ob file object now currently this is empty so using edtf command you created an empty file in the ifs in file in the ifs take 2 here to change this take i Five. to insert five blank lines now I'll be copy paste, uh, I'll be pasting that the source uh, CL commands which I copied from that source member source text delete now take f3 will save it and will exit now at this location this file one is present file which is having this C 
the yell commands which I want to include into my program CL pgm 6 so click 2 so include uh, must be before the first executable statement or before the global monitor mess message if used include include take f4 so here we have option to provide the source stream file location which is this one press enter now just take file now compile it now the program object has been generated do work job for see the source testing here source testing declare variable now we can see that this start include this this has been commented and include this and include this so we can see that the source text external source text present at the ifs stream file has been included to the serial program being compiled in this library sure now I'll, if i'll call this call clpgm6 i'll get the output include command demo include command demo show sure. now what i'll do i'll i'll delete this object clpgm6 okay this object is now deleted do again work object there is no such objects now work member pdm now another thing is here like if i just want to give the file name sure file one i'm not giving the location here so what I can do during the compilation time 14 plus F10 I can give the location this one now I'll compiling this program so I have not given the file name there during compilation using op option 14 because file name is already there in using include command so this has been created if see the CL source listing yes the source which is present in the IFS has been included in this CL program which has been compiled now call this program again call CL PGM6 we got the output so we see that how we can include the serial source from a string file and this is very easy there is no uh, nothing complex in this one so that's all about this video thank you and have a nice time